Hey, it's Jake People with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review, and thanks for tuning in. Today on the docket, I got something that I've tried, but I shouldn't have tried this without talking to y'all. Because this is Stag, aka Stag Jr. It used to be Stag Jr., but I got the newer version. I think it's the 23C. See what I got? 23C. This right here is potent as heck. Um, this is 62.95% alcohol by volume. It's 125%. This comes out of the Buffalo Trace lineup. That's their product line. And a lot of people seek this bottle. Sometimes this bottle can go from anywhere from $60 to $320. Like I've seen prices like that range. Depending on which one you got, I guess like each one is different. And when you're dealing in the bourbon world and you're getting this high proof stuff like this, and you actually um getting a good quality product from Buffalo Trace, this stuff can go for numbers because they're not making this anymore like once they make this it's done so people like the hang on to stuff that they're never gonna see again so sometimes the price goes up but for y'all i've tasted this already and i want to give y'all a proper review so i'm gonna taste it with this right here what it is the glen karen and i'm gonna taste it over ice so let's get it Now, y'all know I, I don't like the bottle design at all. It's kind of trashy because the bottle is kind of basic. But it's a Buffalo Trace product. I love Buffalo Trace products. Now, this is kind of potent to be drinking it like raw dog and like this. But I'm going to pause that. No ditty. You know, and I'm going to give it a little taste. Smell is very bourbon heavy. You can't hide from the heat. The heat is going to be there. It's, it's gonna it's gonna make you it's gonna make you hot. It's gonna give you a Kentucky hug, but flavor profile, man, it tastes like a almost like a like a a warmed up like a flamboyant. Look what it is. Uh, when you cook with the brandy, when you flamboy something or something like that, it's it tastes like a wine that's like cooked, like a caramelized whiskey or something. Man, it just tastes hot and good. I am a big fan of this, but I'm not a big fan of the proof. So it would be blasphemy to say that I would like to mix this with something, but I'd rather put it in like a cube like this and make an old fashioned out of it. So I'm gonna sip this on the cube. Ah, the cube, tame it a little bit and bring a little bit of that oakiness out. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a ranking of like a, a 3.75 out of five because the heat is overwhelming. I can see paying a big ticket price, like $200 or something for a bottle like this. And you got a heat that's just overwhelming that you can't take. It'll be too much for you. So that's why I give it that, that number because I would rather taste this from a friend than I actually go buy it myself. And I actually had the opportunity. I actually won this in a raffle. So thank, thank goodness for that. And I didn't pay a lot for it. So appreciate that. But y'all got the ranking. And this is the Stag, a.k.a. Stag Jr. This is your boy, Jake Fever. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, sir.